and I just ask them to share, you know, just a review of what massive resistance is, what is the South's response to this demand that you integrate, and they're able to, to get, definitely, that they're just going to wait it out. Do you think that this picture would have appeared in a newspaper in New York City? Raise no. your hand. So opinion, it's your opinion. I don't know, maybe it was. I don't know the answer. I'm asking, what do you think? Do you think that this picture might have appeared in a, in a newspaper in New York City? New York Times, Philadelphia Inquirer. Anyone? What do you think, Fabi? No, because um, since New York was a, a, a small home state, uh, it didn't happen that way. Okay, did you hear that? She said, since New York was a northern state, it didn't happen that way. What do you mean by didn't happen that way? Because um, it was, um, they were like all equal, uh, but sometimes like um, they didn't really segregate them, but sometimes they went away by themselves. The last thing I just want to point out is down here in the bottom corner, the date. Can anybody tell me the date? Bottom left hand corner. Jennifer, can you tell me the date here? Okay, it says, I think, 8, 26, and then what's the last? 50. 58. 58. 1958. Okay, and this one was? I already told you this at the beginning. Tiffany? 1954. Okay, 1954. So this one was published in the newspaper right after what happened in 1954? Board of Board. Brown versus Board of Education. This one was published four years later. So right after Brown versus Board of Education, Virginia said, what do we do? Four years later, Virginia's got a plan. Okay? And the plan is, what do we call it? Okay. Does anybody else know the answer? Because I heard two people say it. What's the plan? Massive, Massive resistance. resistance. Okay. And who led the plan? Harry Bird. Harry Bird. Good. Okay. Any questions? When I was researching, I actually found um, a lot of different cartoons um, from Fred Seibel. I thought one of the, the interesting things would be to give them the massive resistance, the Monitor and the Mary Mac cartoon. Give them that one as a, as a homework assignment and say, here it is. Tell me what it's saying and pick out five symbols and tell me what you think those symbols mean. Um, another one, which is a little bit more intricate, would be to have them draw a cartoon showing the opposite. Like, how could you use the same sort of symbols if you are showing a cartoon for people who are gung-ho to integrate? You know, could you use the same actual thing and just, you know, change the expression on his face and make him happy? You, you know, like, yes, it's rough seas, but, you know, so how could you draw a cartoon that shows that using, this, using the man, the boat, and the water? Another thing I came up to was the idea of um, protest posters. And this book, which I love, it's Toni Morrison, Remember. Uh, very few words, very unbelievably moving pictures. So like some of these pictures, I can't go to school because of segregation. Our children play together. Why can't they learn together? And on the other page here, it's the white children. We, the pupils of this school in Clinton High, don't want Negroes in our school. We won't go to school with Negroes. Strike against integration. Right, so I mean, like, so I, I thought it would be interesting to have them make a poster, either, you know, protesting Brown versus Board of Ed or in support of Brown versus Board of Ed.